Hello and welcome to Never Enough Cruising. It's been a while since you've seen us because we've been busy doing lots of other things away from the boat. In this vlog I show you what happens when the water is low in one particular pound on the Kennet and Avon Canal. And also in this vlog a little bit different, a place that I pass nearly every day on my way to see my mother. But things don't go according to plan. So let's get on with the vlog of low water and crop circles. This is the visitor moorings at Wooden Rivers and now all the boats are sat on the bottom at the moment. As you can see it's very low in water. Very low. I'm just going to walk up here. And you should be able to make out the bank on the left hand side. In fact, as you can see there, which is another reason why the Ken and Avon, you do need your long planks because it's scooped out at the sides so it's like a bowl shape. And I think you can just about make over there how low it is. There's the higher boats just waiting to go through the lock. It's having quite difficulty to get into the lock because it's so low. And, um, as you can see, it's low, and you can see there's more of the bank there. You can see my step to the edge of the towpath. That's why you need a long plank on the Kennet and Avon. Just carry on walking up a bit. <laughs> over there or this side as well now this is where it all goes wrong during this footage I tried so many times to get the sound right and to try as I might with my new microphones and wind socks, I could not, I could not get the sound right. So I thought what I'd do with this footage is to let it run and talk over the top of it. What I'm trying to say here is that I'm walking along part of the Ridgeway. Now the Ridgeway is Britain's oldest road and it's followed the same route over high ground since prehistoric times. It's been used by travellers, herdmen and soldiers. The length of the Ridgeway is 87 miles, or 139 kilometres. Behind me is the old RAF Rawton Airdrome that was active during World War II. It's here that I attempt to put the drone up, and try and try as I might, it would not do as I asked it to do. I'd already passed two drone operators, one of whom had a serious drone a very highly professional one who would not do as it's told. So here's some of the footage that I managed to get of the crop circle from above before my drone decided to say enough was enough.
just a short walk away from the crop circle is one of the very many chalk white horses. This one is of Hackpen. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. It's free and it really does help us. Please leave your comments or any ideas for future vlogs. Thanks for watching. See you next time.